Jennifer Wu is a medical student with a rare condition that's required a lifetime of surgeries to remove benign growths from her throat. In the last 28 years, I've had uh, between 20 and 30 um, surgeries on my larynx, and uh, nowadays I'm getting them done every six months. Wu also leads a foundation for patients with recurrent respiratory papillomatosis, RRP, which can be life-threatening if tumors spread to the lungs or turn cancerous. But now a study holds new promise for RRP sufferers and millions of cancer patients. A severe RRP case, a 24-year-old man who's endured 350 surgeries, recently stabilized after he took part in the study. Researchers at Georgetown University grew microscopic versions of his tumors in the lab. The work is published in the New England Journal of Medicine. What our culture technique allows is to take tumor cells and get them to grow within days. In something of a scientific coup, Dr. Richard Schlegel and his team found a way to biopsy and indefinitely sustain benign and various types of cancer cells outside the body. They then barrage these mini tumors with different drugs and chemotherapies until they find what works. We're looking for death. <laughs> what, we're, what we're trying to do is to find a, a drug that will effectively and at relatively low concentrations kill the cancer cells but have much less of an effect on the normal cells. The approach could quickly customize treatments for individual patients and remove some of the trial and error of current therapies. There are very serious side effects of chemotherapies and if you can do it in the laboratory and, and help avoid that for the patient. That's the ultimate goal. So far, the severe RRP case is the only human trial of the technique which found a cancer medication to calm the benign growths. Wu knows that patient and worked as a researcher in the study herself. This, I think, has the, the potential to transform the whole way that we approach and treat and manage this disease. More testing is needed, but personalized medicine holds potential for conditions beyond RRP and cancer. David Melendi, The Associated Press.